Oh, look at me. I have all these diamonds. I have so much loot. I have everything in the- Yo, you guys know who it is. It's E to the Z to the Y. Long awaited sequel of my how to find diamonds video. I mean, everyone was asking for this. Everyone. And by that, I mean no one. All right, tutorial mode on. Today, I'm gonna show you how to find some ancient debris slash netherite. And once again, we have two methods, both of which work great. Just depends on your circumstances and materials. So in this world, I just created no editing done, nothing man-made, you know, but there seems to be some kind of a weird large nether portal over in that direction. Let's just quickly go over there while we're at it. Yeah, wow, this is a weird looking portal, man. Look at how tall that is. There seems to be some kind of a weird chest next to it. What the hell is this? Wait, wait, what? Easy HD subscriber. How does this game know my subscriber rate? Alright, give it up. What's in this ch- Whoa. It's like set up for netherite mining. What is this? I had no idea a chest like this could be randomly generated. This is new to me. Oh, sh there's no food in there. Now, oh, whatever. We'll manage. Let's just get into the nether. See what we can do here. Is this another sign? S please subscribe. What is with this game? So if you didn't know, the nether is where you find ancient debris. Now, whichever method you use, I would highly recommend bringing some fire resistance potions. However, with the second one, I would say it is absolutely essential if you don't want to risk dying. If you don't know how to make these, you take a water bottle, you brew nether wort, then magma cream, and if you want to extend the time to 8 minutes, you then brew redstone. Now, it can be a bit annoying to find a good area to mine in, but patience is key when you're trying to obtain this magical material, mineral, wh I, whatever, debris. Debris. With both methods, you want to go to about Y level 14. Most people say 15 for both Java and Bedrock Edition. However, if you go a block or two below, it reduces the amount of lava lakes you have to deal with by a pretty substantial amount. I'm trying to refrain from saying that statement, do what you prefer, because that helps no one, as discussed, so I recommend 14. Now, with that out of the way, first method, TNT mining. If you don't have a creeper farm or lots of gunpowder, don't worry, there is a method for you as well, using beds. Now, for some reason, a lot of people mine with TNT like this. This is literally almost just as slow as using beds, but it costs so much more. What the f***? The whole purpose of TNT is to blow things up with ease. Yes, we did just find ancient debris. I'm not saying this strat doesn't work, because it clearly does, it's just not as efficient as it can be. So basically, do this. Mine down for a good amount of blocks, 20, 30, whatever. A good distance that you want to cover. Then, from the end here, mine 8 blocks in each direction to the side. And then make your way back to where you started. It should look something like this. Now from here, you want to place TNT about every 3 to 4 blocks. I usually just randomly place it as I walk backwards. As I said, you can do it on every 3 to 4, even though in that clip I was doing it every 2. Uh, it's actually more efficient this way because the explosion is pretty much the exact same if you do space them apart like 3-4 blocks. No matter the spacing that you choose, make sure you keep in mind what I'm about to tell you. Now make sure to connect the TNT at the end there where you mined into the sides. That way you light up one of those TNT blocks and it takes it all the way around. Now it's no secret that sometimes TNT goes flying from its own explosion so it might not connect all the way, but just go light it again and go again. Boom, pow, boom, bow, pow, bow. There's really not many words to simulate explosions. And again, boom, boom, pow, boom, bow, pow. Ah, man, that is tough. But look at all this area we just covered. We only spent like two minutes setting this up, if that, so super efficient method in my opinion. Once you find that sweet, juicy debris, mine it up with your diamond pick. Diamond pick. If you don't know already, you cannot use anything below diamond. It won't work. Need more diamonds? Ha! <laughs> I have a tutorial for that. You can watch the top right corner of the screen. Also, remember, you can find a maximum of three debris in one pocket, and you will often find only one. So, it's a bit of a lengthy process. Now, after repeating this until you're happy with the amount of ancient debris you have- I need to stop saying debris. Uh, you go back and make yourself some netherite, I guess? If you don't know how to do this, don't worry my friend, I will explain it shortly, after we figure out how to mine for netherite if you're poor. Not everyone has a sick creeper farm in their 200 hour plus survival world. Alright, long story short, you need a good supply of wool. Shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on this. And wood. Yes. Beds. Haha! <laughs> We're making beds because they explode if you try and sleep in the nether. Oh look at- I have all these diamonds, I have so much loot, I have everything in the- Ah! 
You're also going to need plenty of food to keep healing yourself. A couple of other things I recommend having is at least full iron armor, or else each explosion is going to do like half your health. Uh, some people recommend enchanting your armor with like blast protection, so it's going to do less damage, but you're going to need more XP for enchantments. Uh, you're gonna have to worry about repairing your armor, so it's up to you. I personally cannot be bothered. I just use regular armor. And fire resistance potions. With this method, without fire resistance potions, I mean... Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Alright, so I feel like this is the perfect time to talk about this. This is a little proof that I use this method in my hardcore world for all those people that usually get upset for people doing tutorials in creative. Yes, I'm like spawning in half my items. Yes, I'm going into spectator mode to check out the explosions, whatever. I just figured you don't really need to see all the small details of me acquiring every single block and material, right? I did this in hardcore with nothing but iron armor. So one death and it's over. No creative mode, no nothing. Just so you know. Series is on the channel, by the way, if you want to see proof and if you want to actually watch it. See ya. Now, very simple. You're practically going to be mining in a straight line, exploding left and right every X amount of blocks. I usually just eyeball this and try to line it up so the two explosions meet up. For a coffee. If you want an exact figure on how far to go between each explosion, about 8 is the number. Now you can live life on the edge as much as you want, but I usually heal up all the way until I explode my next bed. Make sure that you mine as far as you can in that one block gap, and place the bed as far as you can so you take as little as damage as possible and reach as far as possible. Also make sure everything is covered up between you and the bed apart from that one block gap. This actually does have an impact on how much damage it does. And there you go, you just keep going like that and keep finding netherite. I've used this strategy multiple times in my hardcore series and have been successful every time. And that's pretty much it. Before I leave, I want to mention that- Hey, so I actually forgot to record the part where I show you how to transform the ancient debris into netherite. So you pop the ancient debris into the furnace, that will transform into netherite scrap. You will need four of these. In the meantime, one thing you'll also need is a smithing table if you actually want to upgrade your diamond gear. And you'll also need four gold ingots. So you'll need four gold and four netherite scrap. And that transforms into one netherite ingot. Now you can put these together however you want, it really doesn't matter it i've figured that out you can adjust them however you want and it'll make a netherite ingot and there you go and on here you pop whatever gear you want plus the netherite ingot and that'll give you the netherite whatever it is i'm not going to do that because i don't want to do that yet tactical gameplay strategies here shut up notification uh but that's it before I leave, I want to mention that this, as well as mining for other ores, etc., is literally based on luck. For all we know, we might end up mining for 20 minutes and find nothing, which is why, especially mining for netherite or ancient debris, because it is extremely rare and you need a lot of it, you need to stay patient. I find it helpful to expect to find none. That way, when I do find some, it is exciting as f. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're new around here, feel free to check out my other videos. If you enjoy said videos, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, maybe, like help me fix this, please. And don't forget, have a f***ing great day. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy and peace out.